Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look at colour balance, uh, which is different to white balance. So let's start off with a look at what white balance does. Here we bring up, where we go, white balance. Normally this is the first thing you do with a, a uh, photograph because often you don't get the, the balance right, particularly if you're shooting raw, which I do. Um, this is uh, after the raw, so this is just the JPEG. But what it, you can still go back and change white balance when you're in there with the adjustment. And with this you can make things bluer, ooh, and make things warmer, which uh, doesn't seem terribly helpful there. Sometimes you can go a bit magenta if there's a bit too much green, or you can take out the gent magenta cast, which you can surprisingly often can get in pictures. Um, the picker here is the most useful thing, because you just click on that and look for a bit or something that should be white or grey and click on that and it will change this and see it's only changed this minus one percent so it kind of this is okay in terms of white balance although if you look in other areas you kind of think that could be a bit whiter so let's get rid of that and let's bring in color balance which is down here right so now then what we're going to do here, see we can change the three things here, cyan and red, so this is like CMYK down this side, and RGB down this side, and the reason they're in this order, because one is the opposite of the other, cyan is the opposite of red on the colour wheel, and so on. If we zoom in here, in fact let's zoom kind of all the way into here, because even you see a close up, you can see this is kind of like a bit yellowish. So let's go to the yellow one, because if we go to the right here, it starts to take out yellow as it also adds blue. And here, it's not adding blue into this because it's, it's, there's not much blue directly in it, but there was yellow. So it sucked it at the, at the yellow. In fact, we can turn that all the way up. By and large, with the color balance, you can. You can go all the way, often without making a great deal of distance difference. So let's have a control zero out here. Let's have a look at this one, and you can literally try it by going end to end. Going um, there, uh, maybe a little bit up there. And what about cyan? So this is in the mid tones, by the way, so it's just the middle range of lightness. And it goes a bit pink and goes a bit blue. Never mind, let's leave that one there. Now, what we can do is look at the other one. So let's go down and look to highlights. By and large, the sky is often a highlight, and often a bit of cyan in the sky can make it look a bit nicer. So if you turn this up, it makes it a bit of a, a bit of more pleasant blue, and it hasn't really done anything much because you know, there aren't any sort of much in the way of highlight reds. So what can we do here? Any of this? Ooh, ugh. nope, that's no good. And yellows, uh, not so sure about that. Let's. Let's take a look at this, by the way. We're going to zoom into here, look at that colour again. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see if the cyan's affected that much. Yeah, it has a bit, hasn't it? So let's bring the cyan down a bit until so that stays white. So that you know, the sky is still kind of nicely perked a bit. Maybe if we turn up the blue a bit here as well. Let's look at into this, go back into here and watch this. We'll go to the edge between the two so we can see their sky and this. And if we turn that up, there we go, that's that's working a bit. There we go, because if we go too much you can sort of blur the whole thing. Yeah, that'll do, about there. And finally we're going to go to the shadows. And let's go to here and see where things go. Uh, so turning up, I kind of enhance the red a bit, but you know, just a bit there, I think. And oh, no, not that way. Maybe a little bit of there into the green. And down into the bit yellow. Uh, no, I think not. Okay, so there we go. So there you can see we go through the, the mid tones. I usually do mid tones first, highlights and shadows and try each of those and literally look, particularly look for areas where colour you know what it should be, particularly whites, 
make sure the whites are white and you can take out the things where it's going a bit yellow or something like that there we go hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching Ooh, before i finish one more thing which is this little one down here preserve luminosity what does that do that makes sure that the the luminosity in other words the grayness and black and whiteness is not lost so if i click on here that preserves that and i'll often put that in so literally you can turn it on and off see there's an effect in here can we see any difference when we can turn that on turn that off on off even right in not a lot of difference in this case is there but it's worth watching that and just trying it if you're not sure anyway this time thank you very much for watching bye bye